Who are we? Well, we're pen testers, obviously. The clue's in the name. Uh, we do web apps, mobile apps. This is a wireless doorbell. Anyone got these? A ring Wi-Fi doorbell? No? Good, OK. Um, it's quite a nice idea, actually. You press the button, and instead of uh, ringing the bell, what happens is it sets up uh, a connection to your phone and sends the video feed of your front door to you, so you can answer your door remotely. Really nice idea. Um, on the back of it, though, is a big red button. I don't know about you, but I, I have to press big red buttons. I don't know. <laughs> press that one, and it puts it in setup mode. That creates an open access point, so you connect to it without credentials. And if you then explore the embedded web server, you'll find user's Wi-Fi key in plain text. Is that crazy? Now, in fairness, Ring were really good about this. We reported it to them, and they wrote a fix, and they got that all pushed out to all the customers within two weeks. That's really, really good, and good on you, Ring. They did a great job. That's, that's how IoT vendors should respond. Fantastic. We can't always be perfect, but we can respond really well. Um, they did make a boo-boo a couple of weeks ago, though. Um, they had some database corruption, and when you pressed the button, you got someone else's video feed. Oops. That's fixed as well, though. Good on them, Ring. They're, they're actually quite a cool vendor. Um, I did promise at the beginning we'd go back in time, though. Do you remember War Games, the movie in 1983, and the bit where Matthew Broderick hot-wired the electronic door and opened it using a pair of scissors and a tape deck? Do you remember that one? Yep. So I'm thinking 33 years later, after that was in Hollywood movies, surely we can't find it on production gear today. So, well, here you go. This is... A smart door lock, I bought on Amazon a couple of weeks back. Uh, it's got a pin pad on it and an RFID um, interface as well. And you can use it to control a magnetic door lock. Except that it's secured to the door with one screw. And once you've done that, you've got access to the back plate. Let's have a look at it a bit more closely. So on the back there, can you see fifth from bottom is the word push? So if you take the connector, was the connector to push, and put it to ground, it unlocks the door. Seriously, is that nuts? Maybe that's a bit technically involved, eh? What about this button here? You press reset, and it sets it back to factory. So you take it off, press reset, put it back on, and the default factory pin is 9901-9901. That's crazy. Unbelievable. 33 years ago, this was stuff was in the movies, but we can still hack them.